Germany, with a nation with a dark past, has again shown its utter disregard for human rights. Authorities have abducted the children of another homeschooling family. Dale Hood has the story. Witnesses described it as brutal and vicious. A team of German police officers with a battering ram stormed the residence of the Wunderlich family, shown here at a homeschooling conference last year. The raid near Darmstadt last week took all four of the family's children into state custody. The only legal grounds were that the parents, Dirk and Petra Wunderlich, continued to homeschool their children. There were no other allegations of abuse or neglect. A German family court judge also authorized the police to use force against the Wunderlich children if they resisted. Behind the raid was the notorious Jugendamt, or youth office. Many of the German parents that have run afoul of the Jugendamt have had their lives ruined. They've been taken in and out of court, been fined thousands of euros, some have been thrown in jail, and some have lost their children. A few years ago, the Wunderlichs fled Germany to avoid having their children taken, but the need for employment forced them to return. In an interview in Berlin last year, Dirk Wunderlich said he was prepared to go to jail rather than send his children to school. But I'm not afraid of this. I, it's only sad for my family, but I go laughing. You can do what you want. My children don't go to school. The founder of the Homeschool Legal Defense Association, Michael Ferris, called the abduction of the Wunderlich children an outrageous act of a rogue nation. And it demonstrates why the asylum case of another German homeschool family, the Romaikas, is so important. The Romaikas fled German persecution of homeschoolers and were granted asylum by an immigration judge. The Obama administration wants the Romaikas sent back to Germany, where they could face the same fate as the Wunderlichs. Witnesses said when Petra Wunderlich tried to give her daughter a kiss and hug goodbye, one of the police officers pushed her away and said it's too late for that. The children were taken to unknown locations. Officials told the parents they would not be seeing their children anytime soon. Dale heard CBN News.